Man, it's cold today. Very cold. I was laying in bed and my dad all of a sudden yells, hey, the horses are out. And he yells, Blake, I need your help. And so we both started running down there to There's Chipper and Booger. I'm not sure who that one is. Yeah, that must be Clementine right by the fence. Enjoying a snack on the yard. Snow it's, it's 12 degrees, and I just looked to see how cold it is as I head out to get the animals in. And I noticed we were supposed to get snow on Thursday and Friday. But anyway, hopefully I can get them in, and hopefully they didn't eat anything they weren't supposed to. So. Come on, Clementine, let's go. Clementine was just laying here on the grass. Took her a while to get up. She rolled around. She could have a belly ache. That's what you fear for when you have horses get out. Our dogs are going crazy with all these horses walking around where they shouldn't be. But that's what you fear when horses get out is that they may get into some grain or something they shouldn't. I try to keep that covered up, but, but you don't plan on the horses getting out. And so sometimes it's not covered up like it should be. But so we got Chipper and Clementine and Booger here. But in that same pasture, I just put the donkeys two of the donkeys because we're going to do a nativity here soon and we have Smalls and Tolman the steers so I sure hope I find everything get them back in in a timely matter, manner so I can get to school and make sure they're all going to be okay so that's the main thing that none of them get sick. I assume right as they got out, they ate hay for quite a while. Yep, there you go. There's the donkeys. Come on, Clementine. The donkeys are still eating hay. And Tolman, they're all right there. So this is a good thing. Hopefully they didn't get into the, the chicken food and grain. Come on, let's go. Get. Hey, no, go that way. Come on, let's go salt. We got salt, we left Pepper out in the pasture. She's a little more wild. I didn't think she was ready for a nativity. Man, you guys, you're doing good here. Our friends on YouTube are gonna be so impressed that you guys are so trained. All right, man, alive. What a blessing. Now, that's all that happened is a, a gate got left open. You see all that? That's my breath. Those of you that don't live in cold countries or a cold country, we have, we have friends that watch from South America, my friends in Chile. Right now it's summertime down there, so they wouldn't even understand what all that steam is. 
so let's make sure they're all accounted oh the one i have not seen is smalls hey bikes down here now um but let's make sure smalls is out in the pasture Man, it's cold today, very cold. I was laying in bed and my dad all of a sudden yells, hey, the horses are out and yells, Blake, I need your help. And so we both started running down there to put the horses up. By the time I had walked down literally 30 seconds behind him that he was just putting Tolman in and Tolman walked right in. And, but here's Smalls. You can see the sunrise coming up behind the trees and the houses over there. It's looking really pretty, but here's little smalls. It's funny because my dad handed me the phone and he said, go on down there and video smalls and just have some small talk. And I just started laughing. I was like, were you trying to be sarcastic about that? Talking about smalls and small talk? Let's show them how cold it is out here. Take that, take that to small since we don't think he got any, but. I guess the only good thing about having animals out is it forces you to get out and do chores quickly. I was laying there in bed and I just told Vicky, man, it's hard to get out of bed on a cold winter day when it's dark outside and it's freezing and then I looked out the window and saw we had animals out and I was like oh no so anyway I guess you can always find positive in everything at least it got me out of bed quickly and and now now we can get some things done plus we got Blake out of bed so that's good <laughs> I'm just kidding Hey, Blake, um, let's grab some hay for the goats real quick. And I think we're about done. We got it done quick this morning. Just grab some of that flake hay. Hey, it'll be easier. Grab two flakes if you don't mind. I'm hearing one of the chicks. One of the... Okay, the chicks are chirping this morning. I still can't believe... She's kept them alive in this cold weather, but she gathers them under her wing and uh, keeps them warm. Kind of like what the Savior does for us, right? No matter how, how harsh the storm, how cold the weather, he says if we'll come unto him, he can keep us warm and keep us safe. Anyway, have a good morning. And uh, man, it's pretty. Look at this, the sun's starting to come up. Our new horse is over here. From uh, Colorado are looking good. We have not even had time to touch them yet. This time of day, you get home from work and hurry and get chores done and it's dark. But hey, I can enjoy looking at them right now. And uh, they are calming down a little bit. At least they let me come closer to the feeder before they run away. They, they're untouched and, and nervous as can be right now, but, but they're looking good. Those of you that watched our video of me bringing them home know that they came from Martin's Quarter Horses. And many of, many of you have been asking why you can't get on their website wondering if there's a problem and we wondered sorry i just grabbed some hay here we wondered if we'd maybe grabbed the wrong site or something and posted it but they say their website's down right now so anyway contact me and i can get you in contact with them if you really want to talk to them about some horses i'm gonna do a few more things here and then head up to the house and, and then go to work Here's the paint horse that's going to Mississippi as a Christmas gift. If you haven't didn't watch our live, 
I just, there was a 12 year old boy that contacted me wanting a horse. And when I realized how old he was and that he had the courage to contact me and had so much desire to have a horse, I was like, buddy that's a long way to get a horse to mississippi but if you can figure out how to transport it you're welcome to buy one of our horses and anyway long story short i i just felt like you know what i want to give this boy a horse for christmas and many of you have contributed to the fund to transport this horse and it's gonna happen we're gonna get this horse which we call rudolph by the way which is kind of fun Look at Rudolph with his nose so no, so bright. Look at that, isn't that red nose cool? Anyway, Rudolph is heading to Mississippi thanks to the help of so many of you that have made it possible to transport this filly across the United States. And uh, that's happening here soon. We've been, I got the Coggins test done yesterday and now we're, she's heading out here soon heading to Mississippi to Marzavius a 12 year old boy with a passion for horses and a desire to have one of his own and thanks to all of you it's gonna happen I'm so excited about it anyway cold morning but like I say it forced us out of bed and down to the trail quicker than we would have got here and it's gonna be a good day so thanks everyone for watching as always, stay safe and, and God bless. I have some dear friends right now that are sick with COVID and our prayers are for not only them, but for all of you that are, are having a tough time right now in, in your life. So have a great day. <laughs> Look at Blake. <laughs> I, I come up here, he, he had been feeding the goats and he's uh, a... <laughs> The closest thing to a blanket I could find. <laughs> the closest thing to a blanket you can find? Why don't you just go another 150 yards and you'll be in the house. <laughs> Let's go. We've been trying to get rid of some of our roosters and I have someone who wants to buy some. We just have too many. So Blake's doing some rooster catching this morning. Let's see how his, ro ro oh, his Rocky Balboa skills are still good. <laughs> All right. Well, this morning was a little crazy and cold, but it's been a good day. I'm home from work. I give Blake a bad time about not being out and doing chores, but the truth is he helps me all the time and he, he's such a good kid. He ended up being inducted into the National Honor, Honor Society today, actually. I may able to show you a little clip. And also Casey is doing so well. She's starting as the setter on the junior high volleyball team. And she has a game today, so maybe we can even show you a clip of that too. But thanks for following us and for being our friends. Hope you have a great Christmas season. And as always, God bless and have a good day. Our second inductee's hobbies and interests include spending time with his family and friends. He loves to work and play. Interests and hobbies would include all sports, but his love for football really grew this year. He loves all animals and especially enjoys working with horses. Shooting guns and hunting would also be at the top of his list, but he enjoys everything he does. He was born in Flagstaff on September 7, 2004. A special story is that he loves football. When there was a possibility that football might not happen this year because of the lack of players, he went about recruiting. I bet he asked every young man in this room and more to play football. Some joined and some did not, but we had a team and he could not have been more excited. We were also impressed with his ability to show support to those that chose not to play. He even attended some cross-country events, even though he wished that those boys had chosen to play football. As a starting quarterback, he was a leader. I know he built the team up with words of encouragement because, that's, because it's just his nature to do so. At the end of the season, due to COVID and the high school guidelines, he needed to stay home until it could be cleared according to regulations. This means that he was done with football for the year. When we told him, he responded with complete support of these rules, even though we could see his sadness. He said, I would never want to get my friends and teammates sick. The next day, he waited till practice had started and went to sit in his car to watch his team practice. When we called to check on him to ask how practice was going, this was his response. 
Mom, they're doing awesome. Tyler took my place as quarterback and John took my place as linebacker. They're gonna do so good and I'm so proud of them and my entire team. He continued to support his team as they attended football games in Heber and sat in the car with the windows up. We could not be more proud of him. He's a leader, a go-getter, and just an awesome all-around young man. Our second inductee is Blake Palmer.